This is Modern Homesteading. Can a guy get a proper hatchet for under 20 bucks? Today we're going to find out. Looks similar. So here we've got the, the rough filed edge there. Backed up, nice. Still got the wire on it, I can feel there. But sharp, boy, this is, takes a nice edge. So let's go with the stones. We'll do a 320 and then finish up with a 1,000 grit and see if we can't shave with this thing before we take it out and do a little chop test. I've tried about every way there is to sharpen axes and hatchets, and these little stones from Edge Pro are the best. All right, we've got this Baco hatchet properly sharp now. I guarantee you that, finished with 1,000 grit. You can see there, that is very, very sharp. Ooh, what a nice edge it took. Let's see here. Can we shave with it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. It is a softer steel, a little bit soft. I wouldn't say it was as soft as an S-wing. I actually like it. You know what, for, for most users, and myself included, I do not mind a soft, little bit softer steel because it's so much easier to sharpen. But this, one thing that is just extraordinary about this is it sure takes a fine edge. I was working on a, um, an old turn of the century Collins double bitted axe that was quite a bit harder than this and would not take, it didn't take an edge like this. Um, I spent half the time on this and this is actually, actually sharper. Now there's only one thing left to do, however, this does not belong to me. This was actually given to me on loan by a subscriber who lives in the area, and he asked me if I would like to do a review on it, and I said I certainly would. If it were mine, I would strip off all of this barcode and varnish. But it's not mine, so what do I do, what do I do? I don't like varnished handles. Well. You know what? For $17, if he doesn't like it, I can buy him a new one. Let's sand it off. I just can't leave things well enough alone. So, I took off all the varnish and the paint and the logos, and while I was at it, uh, thinned this out a little bit. Uh, put a little bit more radius on it. It was a little bit flat. Fits the hand now, nice now. A little bit deeper choil there. And that. That's nice. That looks good, huh? I was thinking, you know, if it were me, I'd probably leave that orange on there. I think that looks good. Well, it's going to be really visible, and then when you have it, leave it laying around, you're going to be able to find it a lot easier. It'll wear off. It's not real high quality paint. You know, you can see right here where it's starting to come off, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's a pretty handle. I uh, also uh, put kind of a, an egg shape on that. It had that, that angle with the holes in it from the lathe, and so that looks nicer. Look kind of custom look there. What do you think? Should we go out and see how it chops? See, see if we can uh, see how the steel holds up. I put a really fine grind on this. What I mean by that is I, those, it's got a pretty narrow bevel. I back that way up there because I like, I like tools that are sharp and cut well, and bite deep. Um, sometimes you can go too far and then your edge gets a little bit too thin out there and you'll find out after you use your hack axe or hatchet heavy you'll get some little tiny fractures where that will break off no problem take your um, your file and just back that up a little bit just a little bit less so I kinda go really uh, narrow and then try it and then work from there if I can get away with this if the steel is uh, can handle it then then that's that's good so let's uh Let's go take it out and see how it chops. So we'll just do a little quick chop test here. We've got a dug fir limb, which is a really dense wood. Not a super hard wood, but we've got some knots in there too that we can uh, beat on and see if we uh, see how that steel holds up. Alright, so after chopping that, let's say about a 5 inch dug fir limb and chopping through one knot, 
let's see what happened here. Well, the proof is in the pudding here. Very, very disappointing. Right there, that's some poor steel. No wonder it was so easy to sharpen. Look at that. That was after maybe one minute, one minute of chopping. See that? It's all rolled over. It's so soft that it didn't chip. That surprised me. I thought that this would have been a little bit harder than that. It did file the off, awful easy, but uh, you just never can tell. You can see right there, it rolled both directions. I've never seen, I've never seen that before. That's, that's really, really uh, poor, really poor performance there. Yeah, granted that it, it does have a relatively narrow grind on it, but not, not that bad. Look, at, you can see there. You know, this is no, no different than my Grand Force Brooks. Um, actually, this one's probably a little bit steeper than that. And Grand Force Brooks steel has never done this, nor has it ever chipped. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it's seventeen dollars. You can't compare a seventeen dollar axe with a hundred and twenty dollar axe. You know, and for well, I don't know. You know, does this have a place? You know, I think it does for pounding uh, tent stakes or uh, pounding on rocks. It looks cool, but it's not a good axe. It's all about the steel. Could you tell that I wanted this axe to succeed? Yeah, I also wanted there to be a Santa Claus, but doesn't make it ha ha make it so. Seventeen dollars doesn't buy you very much, and it should be no surprise. It was uh, too good to be true, and it's a uh, pig with lipstick. So, if you would like to see some proper axes, right over there, click on the videos, and you can see some real axes, uh, not like the most of the stuff that they make today, and. Now is a good time to click the thumbs up. I uh, try to stay away from gear reviews. It seems to be a lot of them out there, uh, but uh, from time to time, I will do them. And let me know if you like that, if you enjoy that. They're kind of long. What was it, 15 minutes today? Plus the end card? If you're still here, uh, you're a faithful subscriber. Um, you can support the channel and tell me what you like, what you don't like. So if you do like this type of thing, click the thumbs up. and. Uh, um, that will help steer the channel, a rudder to the channel, the comments, and the thumbs up. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.